Hey guys, welcome back to more Bayonetta. When we last left off, we beat the the first actual major boss of the game. And I did actually pretty well on it. Better than I thought I have. So before we move into the next chapter, I'm going to see if I can buy any new upgrades. Because Bayonetta is, is in need of some new moves. So what she has now is probably not going to be enough. And what I forgot to do before fighting the boss was to go get our next set of weapons. So, let Rodan do his thing. It was a close one this time. This bad boy might even be hard for you to get a handle on. And this is the Kushidra. And it's a snake whip, as you can see. Or, yeah, Cobra whip. It's a pretty damn cool weapon. It's not as good as the Kushara, but... Yeah, it'll, it'll do. It will do. Now, I'm not sure what I should be getting here. I probably should be buying more techniques. What is the heal slide, uh... What does this do? Let me try this out really quick. Can't really do that. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, okay, I won't bother with that. I will try out the hillstone because I remember it being really good. Mm, while moving forward, while moving backward, press B. See, I can't do it. What the hell am I doing wrong? Okay, then the afterburner kick. I already bought that witch twist uh, after burn. Okay, let's see what let's see what that does. I guess that'll work, but eh, not sure yet. And the twist. Oh yeah, I should, yeah, I had, do have to buy that. It's a really good move actually. So. I guess I'll buy this for now and save it for some other things later. I guess a funny story I should tell, I got to play the Bayonetta 2 demo and you guys are going to have something to look forward to because I plan on doing Bayonetta 2 as soon as I finish this game. But here's the thing, it's also going to be blind so I'm going to have no knowledge of this game once I get into it so it should be interesting interesting game. I mean, I already love the demo. I've played it like 10 times already and I'm down to like my only two tries for the demo left. I really hate limited demos. Where the hell am I? Where are you, Bayonetta, I wonder? They didn't really explain why she ends up here. I mean, she fights for Tuto and all of a sudden she's in these ruins for some reason. But anyways, I believe there's some secrets somewhere. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played this, so... Got more lore. Let you read this. And... You're done now. I believe there's halos in this statue. And Halo's in the statue. Well, you didn't get anything out of it. That's another thing I've been neglecting to do, is like, to actually actively search for Halo's. But you, you get them anyway, so there's really, like, no threat. I almost fell down there. <laughs> I should probably be more careful, but you don't, like, die, die if you fall down a pit. You just lose a lot of health. 
try really they try to be really dickish with the uh with the uh the stage is that a pit yeah that is a can't really tell yes that is a pit <laughs> okay oh we got some friends oh wait We know how to deal with these. Heal the guns for the win. Alright, I think we should be having another enemy encounter here. Don't get me uh don't count me on don't count me on that yet though. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a new angel. Oh well. We can't go through this gate. There is a powerful barrier here, but something on the other side is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. We will see what that is soon enough. Alright. These are the trolls. Meet the worst enemies in the entire game right here. In my honest opinion. <sighs> this... His grace and glory. Prepare to watch me get my ass kicked. I'm gonna do the torture attack right away because I hate fighting these things. These things are so fucking fast that it's really hard to activate which time or even like get a hit on them because they're always dodging, they're always moving around and it's just really really irritating. And they even spawned another one too. After playing Bayonetta 2 so much, I'm just like so rusty on this now. Oh yeah, it's the same fucking it's the same fucking one. I didn't even kill him. But let's use your weapons on you. Yeah, your uh, torture attacks, they won't always kill angels, especially if they're like higher class ones. Like if it's like the normal affinity, they will die. It's just these ones, the tougher ones, they won't die in one torture attack, because they'll still live. They have enough HP where they'll live a torture attack from you. And we got part of a golden LP. I think there's like four for this one. We still got use for these, so... Which time? I feel like this thing is gonna get destroyed at any second. I should probably get off of this. I don't think it did anyway. Okay, it's good. But uh, the Bayonetta 2, as it is now, it's looking really to be really good. Better than the first game, probably, but cutscene. Flashback to the first chapter. Hey, don't 
go freaking out on me. We both know you came here for something. But what you don't know is the closer you get, the harder it's gonna be for you to get away from me and what you've done. You'll have to fess up to it all. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get your hands on whatever it is you're after. Let me guess. You want a cut? Well, if you're still alive by then, perhaps you can appeal to my generosity. Still if you know what she means, oh. You may be standing right in front of me, but you're definitely not living in reality. Which is a shame. Because the truth is always going to be the truth. All I see when I look at you, the real is the truth. The truth is, you killed my father. I don't care who believes me. They can't reject the truth. The truth will set me free from your black stain on my life. The truth will allow me to expose you to the world. Then, I'll have won. And I'll do it without stooping to your level. Because I'm not a heartless witch like you. Oh. Uh. Whoa, 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 What are you gonna do? Kill me in plain sight? Go ahead. It would only prove everything I've said about you. Well, that and sadden the hearts of a number of young ladies. Claire, Trish, and Sylvia, and Amber. All of those are references to other games that Kamiya have directed, by the way. Um, Bayonetta? What the hell? <laughs> I think Luke is liking that view. Not anymore, though. Here's the electric version of that fire dog from the previous chapters. This is Fearless. Oh, I didn't activate Witch Time. Oh, this should activate Witch Time right there. And, oh, he even spawned the fire one too. I forgot about that. Yeah, together these things are fucking deadly, just so you know. Okay, thank god. Projectiles, thank you. Alright, we get to see this again. Didn't mash B long enough, oh well. I'm not in mashing mood today, so I'm gonna be seeing that much max ma uh, mashing. Oh, you pissed off, doggy? I get he is pissed off. He just shot me with a fireball. Doesn't matter. Dun 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 dun. Let's see. Did I get a? Oh, he didn't rank me yet. I guess I have a couple more enemies to fight before they rank me. Um. Yep, I'd still do. These guys need trumpets. That was a bit of slow down. Yeah, they do that. I forgot they shoot a big ass fucking laser. And I can't air. I can't put them in the air for some reason. It's really annoying. I like my air combos. And those trumpets do a lot of fucking damage. Apparently, Jesus Christ. Oh god. 
Time to go. <laughs> Not sticking around for that, and there's the Umber and Tears of Blood for this stage. I gotta be sure I can get it. And more lore. Oh, I for you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. You can look it up. <laughs> so here's the gimmick with this. Oh no! It seems like even the witches use the same to study the stars, even though it is resting in places, is well constructed. So you know what that means. We gotta go through that son of a bitch by using this thing. Alright then, lock up here, and time to go. I'm not sure you're supposed to kill all these things. I guess you're supposed to do it like that. I wonder what happens if you were to get all those. I've never done it before, so... Oh well. We have another encounter. And you already know who it is. Your favorite friends right here. Here they are, you sons of bitches. Uh -huh. Fucking trolls. <laughs> Go die. Dine of fire. Hate you so much. See, look at... <laughs> I didn't have time to react to that. You see how fast these things are? They're ridiculously fast. I guess the only good thing about them is if you're good, you can activate which time all of them a lot. That's really it. What the hell is my making that noise? Uh, oh, that's my controller. I have it wrapped around the box. Oh god, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Almost dead, sir. Please tell me that's it. Oh no, we got no. We got more of them. Uh, what are these things called again? These are ah harmony. Okay. They're really. They're not that really. They're not that hard to deal with. They're just faster versions of those little fire guys. I say that as I get hit. Now, if I can get enough magic power, I can show off the torture attack that comes with beating these guys, and it's really cool, too. I love it. But that is if I get the thing. I should be able to get it with this next uh, kill, though. Yeah, here it is, so I'm going to show it off. Yep, I love this, what she does. She just pulls out a big fuck you chainsaw. I love this attack. It's so great. And when you execute that torture attack, you get to keep the chainsaw. But like all the other weapons, they uh, have a limited limited use. So enjoy it while you while you can, I guess. And we got another uh, piece of that golden LP, so... There you go, there's another broken, broken witch heart. In case you wanted to know. Well, those claws are pretty good. You know, I'm gonna keep with the chainsaw for now, because... Spoiler alerts, you get those claws later. I'm not gonna tell you when, but you get the claws.
on this thing. Foreshadowing. It's very much foreshadowing. It's very windy here. Very, very windy here. As you can see, there is a... Thing. Oh, I thought that was an Umber Tears of Blight. It's just another notebook, and that's a Rodon thing. I'm not going to go down there just yet. I don't have all the pieces, so... His shot can wait. Hey, broken worm pearl. And got one of you guys in a while. No get the big bayonetta. I really need to refill my health right now, but, nah. Alright. You see, this, uh, this switch here, it's supposed to open this door, but you can't get that much pressure on it. It needs to be, like, has a lot of pressure. It needs to have a lot of pressure, so what you do to alleviate that problem is you go up here. I'm just trying to break all these pots. You go up here, and... Even the camera shows what you're supposed to do, so jump down here, Bayonet will make that impact, and the door is moolah open. That's a big tower. I wonder how we're going to navigate it. You know how we're going to navigate it by now. Oh, looks like someone's coming to play. These guys are not to be taken lightly either. This is the Adore. They're more they're the knights of the angel group. But it doesn't really matter. This isn't gonna this isn't gonna kill it, so. Yeah. Their heads are gone, but he just grew his head back anyway. But you can't take their armor off. Jesus Christ! The chain. What well, thanks to the chainsaw? Yeah, they're really quick as well. They like to do combos with their with their swords and stuff. But they're really fun to fight too. They're not like Grace and Glory, where just a bunch of bullshit. And they also do that charge attack. Watch that. I'll watch out for that because that does a lot of damage. But their sword's pretty damn good. We can usually use our combo to activate Witch Time more easier, so just keep a lookout in that, and you should be fine. I only lost a couple of a uh, couple amounts of health, so I'm still decent for now. And looks like the witch powers have activated again. So, you know what that means. Walking on walls time. 